Hello, Sagittarius. And welcome to your love reading. We're going to take a look at your love lives. October 1st through October 15th, 2018. What is up? So this is general, as always. It may or may not resonate, Sagittarius. Take a look at your moon or rising or Venus in love. Speaking of which, Venus retrograde is coming up, Sagittarius. It is... It's going to be in Libra and Scorpio. So good luck with that. All my information is below, you guys. Click the description box and there I am with email if you guys need a personal reading. Also, how do they feel about me? That spread is going to continue throughout October because, well, October is my birthday and I just feel like it. So check it out. It is $40. Normally it's $75. Usually about a 20 to 30 minutes re-recorded reading. Also, too, I do offer the emergency readings and phone readings and all that good stuff. If this resonates, Sagittarius, please like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate it. So let's get going. Sagittarius in love. What can Sagittarius expect coming in? August, August, what happened in August? October 1st through the 15th, 2018. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me a 10-card Celtic spread for Sagittarius in love. Love messages for Sagittarius. We're coming in for Sagittarius. October 1st through October 15th. As I always mention, it's general, right? But also, too, the energies can be kind of vice versa, too. So if you know it's not you, Sag... Well, it's the other person. All right, so let's take a look. I'm using the zombie deck because October, Halloween, and well, you know the rest. All right, Sagittarius. One more good shuffle and we're gonna get going here. Sagittarius, love messages coming in. What's coming in for Sagittarius in their love life? October 1st through the 15th. We're gonna take a little looky here, Sag. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck and get your overall energy right now is the king of hazards. So, Sagittarius, some of you guys are dealing with Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, king of hazards, which is the king of pentacles and the rider weight. This is about somebody that wants to be in a commitment. Very stable energy. Money's good. Job's good. Love is good. It's grounded and stable. Somebody wants to offer a commitment here or just being very grounded and practical. Sagittarius coming in to the present moment right now. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Well, isn't that cute? The universe paying you a little a visit with some karma, right? Good karma. It's the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So coming in, a lot of you guys are experiencing massive changes in your love life. It's beyond your control, Sagittarius. You can jump on the wheel or not, but it's moving. Normally, they are very fast, quick changes that come in again be on your control but it's in the upright so it's good fortune coming your way in love what's your challenge your challenge is the nine of hazards more earth virgo capricorn taurus some of you guys are single right or the challenge is you or the person that you're dealing with might want to become single or independent that could be these changes that are coming in we're going to clarify and see why all right, let's move this up a little bit. See what's going on with that Nine of Pentacles. What's on your mind, Saj, is judgment. A lot of you guys are doing some reflection. The judgment is making decisions. It's making a judgment call. It can be looking at the past, reflecting on the past. Could be wanting a second chance or to resurrect something, right? But it's all about decisions, and it's about making those choices and those judgment calls. Judgment day, Rising from the ashes, Sagittarius. And it's interesting because we do have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is all about changes. <clears throat> Destiny. Recent past, Sagittarius. You have the Knight of Wands. Well, look at you showing up. Knight of Wands is normally a Sagittarius. Could be an Aries or a Leo. Knight of Wands, the Knights are always coming and they're going. They never stay long, right? They're traveling. Could be travel. But the Knight of Wands energy is just in and out, right? It's all about moving directions all the time. Again, they never like to stay put, but the wands are all about action, movement, passion. Um, you guys may have experienced another a fire sign in the recent past. The knight of wands can be, you know, it's a knight. It's not a king. So in the recent past, maybe somebody was kind of flighty in and out, 
you know, didn't really know when they would come back. It's kind of that, it can be that player energy. No judgment call here, I'm just saying. If not, it's just the energy of moving forward. Somebody leaving, right? It's coming, it's going. But King of Hazards is the overall energy. So we go from a knight to a king. There's some aspect of the love situation here, Sagittarius, where somebody is owning up, bossing up. King of Hazards can also be very, very focused on their career and money. But as far as a relationship and love, this person wants to bring long-term and stability and a commitment. Why is everything happening? What's the situation? It's the Three of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Going out, having a good time. A lot of you guys could be dating. That Knight of Cup or that Knight of Wands in the in the recent past is somebody that just kind of, you know, in the past maybe didn't want a long term relationship. The Three of Cups can signify going out there, having a good time, dating, a little bit of drinky drink. It's also reconciliation, celebration, having a good time. Yes, it can be third party, but we're just gonna have to find out and see what's going on here with clarifiers. But that's why everything's happening. Okay. Coming in, Sagittarius, what you're going to experience is the Four of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Taking a break, a little bit of a healing energy. Somebody might withdraw from you a little bit, Sagittarius, or you might withdraw from them. It's, you know, it's to meditate, to heal, to get your thoughts together, right? It's just to kind of pull away for a minute, right? Because what's on your mind, a lot of you guys are doing some big reflections, you know, reflecting a lot on the past, your past choices, past decisions. Some of you might be thinking about offering a second chance. And coming in, you're going to be reflecting on that. You're going to be taking some time out, all right? Or somebody could be kind of withdrawing or taking a break from you. So we'll clarify. All right. How do you see yourself right now, Sagittarius? You see yourself as temperance. Well, isn't that cute? You're showing up as the you now position. Talk to me, universe. Do it, all right? Temperance, a sign of Sagittarius. Temperance, you see yourself right now as balancing your emotions, right? Healing. We see that coming in here too with the four swords. Very meditative, very patient, harmonizing, getting all your emotions in check. Because coming in, the universe says it's time, Sagittarius. Good changes quickly, rapidly are coming in. And you guys probably feel that in your energy with temperance. You're balancing those emotions. You're remaining very patient. You're healing. So the person you're thinking of, what's their energy coming towards you? Is the world, Major Arcana, could be an ending, right? It could be because we do have this four of swords coming in here, which is somebody's taking a break or healing. Could be, for those of you who aren't going to experience an ending, just a new chapter within your relationship, a new cycle opening. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune, and World, Temperance, all major arcanas, all signifying big changes in love, Sagittarius. Universe is playing a big part in all this. I'm just saying, all right? In your emotions, you have the five of wands. You guys might have some mental conflict. Could be some competition. We do have the three of cups and the foundation, so we'll see. Nobody get crazy yet. Let's clarify. But in your emotions right now, you feel some either inner conflict or you're arguing with somebody, going back and forth. Could be competition in play, right? And that might be why this Four of Swords, again, is coming in. Just taking a step back because in your emotions, you're feeling very conflicted or you're fighting and arguing with somebody a lot. We have the Three of Cups in the foundation. Could be third party. Five of Wands in your emotions. Could be competition. Look, I'm just saying, okay? Let's see what's happening here. Most likely outcome is the Seven of Swords. Ew, don't like it. I'm just being real. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Most likely outcome, somebody's avoiding. Because we have this energy coming in, Four of Swords, which can be avoidance. The world and ending. Three of Cups and the foundation. Somebody, mmm, a little sneaky, cheating, lying behavior or just avoidance. Can be self-deception as well. All right, so you guys be careful, right? If, if coming in the energy, you feel somebody pulling away, they may be ending something. It could be due to a third party, you guys. I'm just calling it like I see it. And look, even in this reading, I had all uprights. I purposely did all uprights in this. So you can see, even with uprights, it's just, it's the energy. It's collective, it's general, nobody freak out. 
but it's good to know. You need to be aware of this energy, okay? So if you feel like somebody's being sneaky or deceptive, that most likely outcome says, well, yeah, it could be, okay? So let's clarify. Also with temperance here, you guys, you're showing up with your major arcana there, how you see yourself right now. Some of you may want a reconciliation, right? All right, let's take a look. I think for most of you, that's just healing and balance though. You know, being patient, knowing with this Wheel of Fortune, it's all about divine timing, whatever's going on here. All right, clarify for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, October 1st through the 15th, 2018. What's going on with Sagittarius in love? Show me the energy coming in for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show me Sagittarius in love, October 1st. Through the 15th, what's coming in for Sag? Sagittarius, one more shuffle, and then we're gonna get to it, Sag. Sagittarius in love, October 1st through October 15th. What do they need to know about their love lives? All right, let's clarify it and do it. Here we go. Y'all hear the thunder? It's storming here. I wonder if that's some type of a sign. Okay, let's start here. King of hazards is your overall energy. Some of you are dealing with Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's this King of Hazards as the overall energy for Sagittarius? Why is the King of Hazards here? Show me the King. Five of Wands again. Yeah, you guys are having some banter. Could be with an Earth sign, doesn't have to be. Competition, conflict, arguing. It's showing up twice here. We have two fives, two five of Wands, which is fives are all about you know obstacles, challenges. Um, you guys are fighting with somebody here. The recent past, you have the Knight of Wands, that's you. You guys may have exited, right? Why is this Knight of Wands here? What's the Knight of Wands energy? Clarify the Knight of Wands. Ooh, let's see, something just fell out, Sagittarius. And the Six of Swords in reverse just fell out. Unable to come to some type of resolution, delays of some sort, but also too, the Six of Swords in reverse is unable to move on from something could have been kind of an energy that was in and out, right? Couldn't really, dip, you know, you never knew when they were going to come back in. It's either you or the other person, but there's the energy on top of that Knight of Wands is somebody wasn't able to move on from it. Coming in, so the present energy coming in right now is the Wheel of Fortune. Universe is playing a part, Sagittarius, in your love life. It's all about big changes are coming in, kind of beyond your control, right? You, you don't have much say in it. You got to kind of go with it. It's destined here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune coming in for Sagittarius, please? The Ace of Cups. Ooh, some of you guys are experiencing new love, right? But be careful. Let's clarify and see what's going on here. Also, too, the wheel, uh, the Ace of Cups can be healing energy. It can be self-love as well. So let's throw another card on it. Let's see what's going on. What's this Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here coming in for Sagittarius? I want more clarification on it. What's the Ace of Cups? And the Page of Pentacles. So investing. A lot of you guys are investing in a new love situation here. Again, more Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But the challenge is the Nine of Hazards. Somebody may want to be single. What's this Nine of Hazards? What's the Nine of Hazards for Sagittarius? Why is Nine of Hazards here as the challenge? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Again, karma, universe is playing a part here. It's For a lot of you, it's a new love situation that you guys want to invest in, a lot of earth energy. But the challenge is the universe may be telling you it's not quite time because the universe may have other, you know, other ideas for you here, Sagittarius. All right, you guys are definitely dealing, obviously, with a love situation. For some of you, it will be healing energy with that Ace of Cups because we see you here healing too and being very emotionally grounded and, and getting it together. What's on your mind is judgment. Why is judgment here, please? Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for Sagittarius? Ten of Cups. For a lot of you, it's a family situation. Reflecting on the past, how to get your happiness back. You have the Ten of Cups on your mind. Right? It's wanting that emotional fulfillment, right? Obviously, 10 is completion. A lot of completing of cycles here with the world, all the major arcana, the 10. Um, 
Let's see why. Let's throw another card. Why is Ten of Cups on Sagittarius's mind here with judgment? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, what did I say? Reflecting. The judgment on your mind, you guys are reflecting on the past. Some of the decisions that you made could be regarding a family or just your overall happiness when it comes to love. Because now we have the Five of Cups, so two fives, which are you know challenging energies. Reflecting. A lot of you guys are reflecting on the past. Things that maybe went wrong in the past, being stuck in that past energy, or just trying to make changes, because we have the Wheel of Fortune here, too. Oh, I just dropped about 45 cards. I'll be right with you. Sagittarius. Um, yeah, you guys are doing a lot of reflecting. What went wrong? How could I have changed it? Coming in, universe is making changes here. A lot of self-love. For some of you, this is a new love situation but you're really doing a lot of reflecting. It's all about the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here for Sagittarius? Situation's a Three of Cups. What is this Three of Cups? The Empress in Reverse. Could be a wife, right? Some of you are married to this person, a mother, Aries, Taurus, energy we do have a lot of earth in this reading but the empress in reverse is something's not expanding or something's not growing it's not moving towards the future the energy is a little bit ill right because in the upright this is expansion growth love nurturance but in the reverse something's just not moving forward or expanding sometimes the empress can be another energy because it is the a court card why is the Empress here? Give me one more card on this Empress. What is this Empress in Sagittarius's foundation here? What's this Empress? Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody narrowed down their options. Or you guys are coming to reality about a situation here. Could involve three people with the Three of Cups here and the Empress. But whatever's going on here, Sagittarius, whether it's just an ex, you know a lack of this expansion moving forward with the Empress in reverse, it could be due to a third party. But whatever's going on here, it's the Wheel of Fortune stepping in. It's supposed to happen here when it comes to your love life. Some of you are dealing with a younger Earth sign. Could be a new love situation. Or it's about you guys, the universe coming in and saying, hey, it's time for healing. Because the Ace of Cups can be healing energy. Why is the Seven of Cups here in reverse? What does this mean for Sagittarius, Seven of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. More Earth energy. You guys are just, there's disappointment here in the foundation. Feeling like something was just a waste of time. You guys are coming to reality about that. About how there's just no growth or expansion here. So coming in is the four swords. Somebody's taking a break. Healing, meditating, really thinking about it. You guys are doing a lot of a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting on, on stuff here. What's this four swords coming in? Why is the four swords coming in for Sagittarius? The devil. Sign of Capricorn. We do have a lot of earth energy here. Something very toxic or something that you guys are very tied and bound to. It could be an obsession or some type of toxic energy. Could be just a strong bond to somebody, but coming in, you're pulling away or they're pulling away. That's what you're gonna experience, taking a break from this because there's just a lot of toxicities. Again, that devil can be third party energy. Why is this devil here coming in? Clarify one more time for the devil for Sagittarius coming in. Star in reverse. Sign of Aquarius, losing the hope or faith in something. There's a lot of giving up energy here, you guys. Some of you found out about a third party. You're really reflecting on it. And coming in, you're going to pull away from this person or they are you. <clears throat> you see yourself right now as temperance. That's you, Sagittarius. Really, you know, healing. Trying to remain patient, balanced. Some of you want a reconciliation. Why is temperance here, please? The fool, that's what I, what I just say. Sign of Aries, wanting to take a leap of faith or a risk. Some of you guys want to start again with this person because temperance can be reconciliation. Or you're just healing, you know? You're trying to remain emotional. You're getting your emotions back in balance here. You're being patient and embarking on something new because something in here is just either toxic, third party, 
and it's being released, but you guys are still kind of reflecting on it with that Five of Cups. The person you're thinking of, what do they bring in? They're bringing the world. Why is the world here? Why is this world energy coming towards a Sagittarius? What's the world energy? Clarify the world. Hanged man in reverse, sign of Pisces. They're letting go. They're releasing themselves. Kind of stubborn energy, refusing to have a different perspective on something. So they're bringing an ending for some of you guys here with the world energy. Pisces energy, if not, it's just release. So if you guys feel somebody pulling away, it's they're, you know, they're probably ending it, unfortunately, you guys. Sorry. <clears throat> That's just what I see. In your emotions, you have the five of wands and conflict. Could be arguing a lot with this person or just there's competition. Why is this five of wands in Sagittarius' emotions? What's the five of wands? Ace of swords in reverse, not having clarity right? Lacking clarity, lacking communication. Somebody may, may not be communicating. Could be lies that's causing a lot of arguments or banter. There could be lies due to a third party with that five of wands and the ace of swords in reverse. Or you just guys aren't getting clarity or getting some type of communication. Most likely outcome shows the seven of swords. <clears throat> More Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be... Um, just avoiding somebody's avoiding somebody here or there could be some deception here with the seven of swords so just be careful of that sag why is the seven of swords here please why is the seven of swords in the outcome for sagittarius please ace of wands in reverse so a lack of a new passionate beginning so those of you here who see yourself as wanting a reconciliation or wanting to come together or work together with somebody wanting to take this new brand beginning brand new venture <clears throat> it's just be careful of deception ace of wands a couple things of course this is your energy it's a lack of a new passionate beginning getting off the ground it's ace it's new but in the reverse it's just not getting off the ground but also too it could be sex only relationship it could be something that starts quickly and ends quickly and on top of that seven of swords if any of you do experience somebody coming in just be careful of their motives right with the seven of swords it's just i i you know i gotta call it like i see it i don't love that energy and you know somebody could be avoiding a passionate new beginning here too because this energy coming towards you is ending something and they're releasing themselves could be things that you just don't know sag with the seven of swords give me one more card on the ace of wands why is this ace of wands here in reverse for sagittarius why the ace of wands <clears throat> the world in reverse somebody's not getting closure so somebody's bringing an ending and then the other person is lacking closure unfinished business here not closing somebody's closing and then the other person it could go vice versa that's just the energy somebody's gonna feel like what the hell just happened seven of swords world in reverse what the hell just happened you snuck away and didn't even tell me it's kind of that energy you guys so seven of swords can be somebody ghosts you know that kind of thing why is the world in reverse here for Sagittarius why is the world here for Sagittarius in reverse the three of wands in reverse could have been a third party somebody turns their back you or the other person just turns your back on a situation, but unfortunately, somebody's a lack of closure. Three of Wands in reverse is those ships just didn't come in. So somebody sneaks off or, or is lying about something. Ugh, Sagittarius, I'm sorry. You guys, <clears throat> thumbs down if you want, but this is just the energy. Look, I call it like I see it. I read the cards and I use my intuition. So this is what I see. Just be careful. If you feel somebody pulling away, just end it with them because they're bringing an ending towards you anyway. Some of you don't care. Some of you are like, shit, I'm healing. I'm getting my emotions back in check. All of it could have been due to a third party. And it's all happening here because somebody's just like, well, shit, this is a waste of time. And outcome shows, well, yeah, you were right. So cut it off if you feel that kind of pulling away or you feel like intuitively speaking, something's not right. Because we see here Seven of Cups in reverse, you're coming to reality about it. And you guys might just be like, F it. I'm going on a new adventure with the fool. And this reading is just telling you exactly. Like, continue to listen to that intuition. Because there's a lot of either competition or banter or fighting and arguments here. 
So there you go. Love you hard. Love me hard back. I will speak to you guys very soon. Take care.